This shy eight-year-old girl has become the face of a national battle against extremist ultra-Orthodox Jews. Israel is outraged by the story of Naamah Margolis, a second-grade student who fears walking to her religious girls' school <laughs> because of ultra-Orthodox radicals who have cursed and spat upon her for dressing in a fashion they consider immodest. When I walked to school in the morning, I used to get a tummy ache because I was so scared. Her plight has drawn new attention to the simmering issue of religious coercion in Israel and the increasing brazenness of extremists within the insular ultra-Orthodox community. It has also highlighted the tensions in her hometown of Beit Shemesh, a mixed city of 100,000 just outside Jerusalem that has turned into a symbol of the growing violence. This quiet boulevard has become ground zero of Israel's latest religious war. On the one side of the street live ultra-Orthodox Haredi Jews who want to impose their strict lifestyle on their neighbors. On the other side of the street, more modern, observant Jews who say their daughters are being targeted on their way to school. The city's ultra-Orthodox leadership has strongly condemned the violence, but it insists the perpetrators are only a small, fringe minority. Even so, the tensions in Beit Shemesh follow efforts by the ultra-Orthodox to segregate buses and sidewalks and remove female faces from city billboards. It all has Naamah's Chicago-born mother, Hadassah, worried about the future of the city and religious life in Israel. Should it matter? What I look like, someone should be able to walk around in sleeveless shirts and pants and be able to walk down the street and not be harassed. She's an observant Jewish woman who covers her hair and wears long sleeves and a long skirt. But that's not modest enough for some of the city's ultra-Orthodox, Israel's fastest growing sector. There is a tendency to become more extreme on the notion of women and how they should be treated and separated from men in public places. For young Naama, though, all she wants is to walk to school in peace. Aaron Heller, The Associated Press, Beit Shemesh, Israel.